Hey guys, old folks here. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, again, the Abyss Treasure. I just finished mine up. Um, I got an S plus on mine. Uh, basically, uh, I had a phenomenal um, run here. You can kind of see a lot of the stuff I got. Uh, a lot of good soul stones, a lot of good runes. Uh, this one had like 40 something, 47, I think, gold chests, and I got all of them, but like maybe 10, maybe 9, I, I can't remember. Um, but so now what happens is, is it defaults back to this normal treasure mode. Somebody asked me, they said, hey, is it worth, you know, spending gems to try and get a better quality one? You know, the truth is, I don't really do that. Um, if you refresh 10 times and it gets more costly every time, you're guaranteeing to get a better one. Um, but uh, I just, I don't think it's worth it. You know, if you want to throw 10 at it, you know, yay, oh, look, I didn't get it, you know. But the next time, it's 20. So before you know it, I mean, you're 30. I'm going to do it just because I'm, I'm here. I actually lost one. Now, if I want to do it again, it's, you know, it's 20 more. And so, um, you know, it's not really worth it. I'm just going to be honest. Uh, stick with what you got. Always make sure you go in with 36 of 36. Uh, choose your teams, whoever you want. Um, the team's pretty well built. I can take him out. Uh, let's see. That's pretty much my team. I haven't changed it. I haven't had to. I'll get rid of him and bring her just because. So, anyways, this team I haven't changed. What I like to do again, I like to kind of scout the map. Okay, there's a gold and a silver over there. Um, nothing over here. Mm, silver down the middle. Another silver and gold. So, obviously, I'm going to go left first. Mm, that's good. Left here. Uh, way down here, there's nothing. Nothing. There's some more there, so I'll end up bottom right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down like I always talk about. I like to leave two spaces in between for my best viewing. Uh, I'm not going to worry about getting that chest right now. Right now, I'm really just uh, getting the, the, the best vision I can. Yeah, I know. Come on. Stop that. So, I'll go here. I'll go ahead and pick up that one just because I'm right next to it. And uh, we'll keep moving on. Again, I've got gold and silvers over here. Some might say, why don't you drop down and go across? I've done that before and then came back through and found like two or three up here that I, I actually wanted that were gold. Um, so, I kind of stick with my plan and kind of go from there. I'm going to go up, grab this one, grab that one, grab this one. Now, again, I'm, I'm right here. So now I've got my two. And you'll see I've seen a lot of chess um, here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab these real quick. Smash this guy. Obviously, I'm high enough level that I can just smash these and I don't have to fight them. Um, but I'm going to continue here. So now, smash. This is my one, two, one, two kind of thing that we talked about. Um, you have a couple options. You know, if you feel like you want to go back and um, cut over here, you can. I'm not going to right at the moment. I'm actually going to smash. Go like the whole. So I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to go across. It's a little overkill. I'm going to go ahead and spend some gems just because I'm recording. Twelve more. Smash. Um, I'm playing on another account a little bit with a friend, and oh, I haven't hit the smash section yet, and it really beats me down. Um, so, now, the way I did this, I've kind of done it wrong. Um, but that's okay. So, what I will do is I'll come back here, and I'll waste one here right now just, just to do it. Um, and I'll come back here and grab it this way probably later just to grab those two chests. Um, but what I do is I kind of complete my main 
going after chest kind of things and then I, I kind of leave those stages so I can come back and grab them so let's do this let's pick them up some people say is it worth spinning gems eh. if you're running out of time and there's a, a silver or a gold or there is a um, epic loot one you can go that way also um, but for the most of the time I'd say it's probably not worth it. Smash. All right. I'm gonna stop here. Grab this one. So let's talk a little quick while I'm here. Still, these buttons here. What do these do? So if I use this, it re-resurrects all my guys that are dead and restores their health to um, half. This bad boy here um, just restores their health 50%. Um, and this bad boy here gets rid of somebody in vision. If I didn't want to fight a guy. I could click on that and it's a freebie otherwise it cost me six shovels um, and so it's kind of one of those things where you're like okay you know what do I want to do worked out perfect for me but that's kind of it um, I will follow this pattern I found it to be better you know versus just chasing here than here than here than here and you know you've got all these spots you're going after and you really miss out on um, certain chests that you could have gotten that you don't know were there by using a little bit more uh, logic in your your digging uh, I've watched my son and he just kind of digs sporadically chasing the chest and that's okay if you don't have the smash option because you really can't fight all your way down on my one account level 45 level 46 something like that I just can't go all the way down because I'll never make it through the monster so I am much more of a, a hunt and pecker but once I've gotten to the level that I can smash 95 percent of the guys uh, I really want to maximize my exposure of the map because I want to capture as many chests as I can. So obviously I pick the side that I, you know, I know that they're going to be on and then from there, you know, I, I go at it. Once I get down to the bottom, again, you know, if we scroll here a little bit fast, sorry, I know that there's these here, so I'm again, I'm going to come across this line here, which is going to reveal that bottom two lanes and the top lanes above it. I can grab this one and that one. I'm going to get to here again. Here's kind of my kicker where I'm going to go back up again, revealing the sidewalls. I'm going to catch these two, and I can bump out and grab that. So it's a plan of action. I know it's going to happen. I know what I'm going to do. I know which path I'm going to take. Um, and so I'm, I'm wasting a lot less uh, shovels, which are important. So I hope this helps you a little bit, gives you a little bit of uh, idea on your best strategy for maximizing your returns. And if you got any questions, just uh, feel free to ask me. Thanks for watching, guys.